Software Spring Presence How to use Workday and Workday.International in Google Sheets Hello folks! Greetings! Welcome to this tutorial on using the Workday and Workday.International functions. Let's look at an intro to Workday and Workday.International. Workday and Workday.International functions return the next working day. Workday assumes a two-day weekend of Saturday and Sunday. Workday.International allows to specify one, two, or more weekend days. Workday.International allows to specify any days of the week as weekend days. All right, here are the formats of the Workday and Workday.International function formulas. Let's look at an example for each of these functions. Start date is the reference date from which to start counting for the next working day. Num days is the number of days to advance from the start date to get the next working day. Holidays is optional and is the list of holidays which the function should take into account to get the next working day. One additional attribute in the workday.international function is weekend. As a value for weekend, you can specify either a number or a string. The number 11, for example, represents Sunday as the only weekend day. If you use a string for weekend, it should be a seven digit number of zeros and ones. A zero in the string represents a working day and a one represents a non-working day. The first digit represents Monday. The last digit represents Sunday. Please refer to the description for other number values, for weekend attribute, and for more info on string values. Moving forward, here is an objective of using the Workday and Workday.International functions. To get a project delivery date. Type the project start date, in the month slash day slash year format. Type the number of days to complete the project. Type your list of holidays. Here is a sample list. Alright, we are ready to type the workday function formula. First, type equal to W, O, and select workday. For start date, Click this cell. Type comma. For number days, click this cell. Type comma. For holidays, select this range. Press enter. OK, this is the project delivery date, taking into account the weekend days of Saturdays and Sundays, and any other holidays. Now, let's use the Workday.International function, and calculate the project delivery date. Type the weekend code. The weekend code of 11, represents Sunday as the weekend. Alright, we are ready to type the Workday.International function formula. Begin by typing equal to, W, O, and select Workday.intl. For start date, click this cell. Type comma. For number days, click this cell. Type comma. For weekend, click this cell. Type comma. For holidays, select this range. Press enter. There you go. This is the project delivery date, taking into account all these attributes, and one additional weekend attribute. That's it folks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel.